Well, hi there, Internet. My name is Johann Sebastian Sock, and you've got courtside seats for my review. Excuse me? What? It's my review. Shice. Of the Happy Time Murders. Let's do it! That puppet took me an hour to make. Seriously, an hour. The Happy Time Murders is a comedy crime puppet movie from director Brian Henson and STX Entertainment. The film stars Melissa McCarthy, Elizabeth Banks, Maya Rudolph, Leslie David Baker, Joel McHale, and Bill Beretta. When the puppet cast of an 80s children's TV show begins to get murdered one by one, a disgraced LAPD detective turned private eye puppet takes on the case. I remember when this movie first got announced and I was all over it. Profane toddlers may be the funniest thing in the world to me, but profane puppets is a close second. So I was really psyched about this flick. And I liked it. I didn't love it, but I liked it. First off, Melissa McCarthy is hit or miss for me. Sometimes she kills me, other times she just doesn't work for me at all. I really liked her in this movie. And her chemistry with her partner puppet Phil Phillips is really, really strong. And it should be noted that, yeah, this is sort of a comedy whodunit mystery with, you know, a good dose of Roger Rabbit in there. It's also very much a buddy cop movie, particularly a 1980s style one. So them two having good chemistry was of utmost importance worked beautifully. Also, Maya Rudolph, very funny in this movie, as per usual. The puppeteering is also really, really solid. I'm assuming some of it was CGI, but I think most of it was practical and it looks great. And the puppet designs themselves are fabulous. Now this movie is really raunchy. I have no problem with raunchy, I like raunchy, but I know some people were really against this movie because it was sort of Sesame Street style Muppets doing filthy, filthy things, and I get it. And like, say, if Kermit had been in this movie, that would have been a huge problem for me. He's not. All of the puppets in this movie are designed specifically for this movie. It's not like they pulled one from Sesame Street or the Muppets. So it's fine. Totally gets a pass. What bums me out about this movie is that it's not as funny, nearly as funny as I was hoping it would be. It does have some very funny moments, particularly when they're having fun with puppet puns. And I love the fact that puppets drink maple syrup instead of booze and they snort straight up sugar instead of whatever else. When it's clever, it's funny. And when it comes to the vulgarity, some of it totally does work, but a lot of it is kind of low hanging fruit, kind of easy, cheap jokes. And the profanity in this movie, again, sometimes it really works, but a lot of times it really feels like it was forced in. It kind of felt like the filmmakers were more concerned with being crude than with being funny, which I think is a shame. That said, I got the impression that everybody making this movie was having like an absolutely gleeful time. And that does come through to the audience. I will also say, unfortunately, and some studios in Hollywood just do this too much, but the funniest parts of the movie are in the trailer. There weren't a whole lot of surprises as far as comedy is concerned. The story, yeah, there were surprises, but not so much as far as comedy, which kind of sucks. And while I didn't love the Happy Time Murders, I had a really good time with it. If they make a sequel, I will be there. Now, I don't have a proprietary rating system as of yet, so I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna give the Happy Time Murders. And I think I'm gonna give the Happy Time Murders a... Hey, you geriatric joker. We'll settle this, we'll flip for Okay. One, two, three. Hey. Whoa. You win. Out of 10. So now I wanna know, have you seen the Happy Time Murders? What did you think about it? What is your favorite puppet movie of all time? Maybe it's your favorite Muppet movie. Maybe it's your favorite profane puppet movie like Team America or Meet the Feebles. Whatever your thoughts, hit the comments below. Let's discuss. If you enjoyed this review, please smash that like button and give it a share if you really enjoyed it. And hey, why not take a second, do me a favor, click subscribe and ring that bell to subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, entertainment news, trailer reactions, all that good stuff. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.